Hey there guys, it's Ramos Online here. I am almost 100%, I'd say about 90%, but that's good enough to record Rated Battle Spot. Yay, it's Monday, we're doing Rated again. It is kind of hard to be hype, because I have lost several battles on Battle Spot recently due to RNG, and that's no fun. So let's go over the team real quickly. This episode will be a bit longer because I'm going over the team. Although I'm saying that we could end up with like three short battles a day and two really long ones on Wednesday, but who cares? So we have returning star Fu of the Fur Throw, my physical wall. That <laughs> <coughs> I did say I was 100%, didn't I, guys? So we have Fu, my lovable, fluffy physical wall. We have Sheer Force Life Orb Mawile, Brave with Fire Blast, so we can deal some special damage. Oh my god. <coughs> I am not healthy. We have Cotton, the Mega Altera. You might have noticed me talking about this on Facebook or uh, um, Twitter. That's a thing. We have Railgun. <coughs> <coughs> Bloody hell, I have not coughed this much all day. Why is that happening now? I don't know. We have Railgun, the modest, choice specs, sturdy... Magnazone, we have Laura, the Ludicolo, who has not been seen on my channel in a long time, and we have Natalia, the whole Lucha, who is adamant with home claws and that, you know, the whole shenanigan where it likes to use um, Sky Attack and that sort of thing. Let's just go into this because I am going to end up having a coughing fit again, and then, you know, we're, we're going to get nowhere because I'm sitting here dying instead of battling. So, um, yeah. I've been using this team a bit this morning, and every battle I wasn't screwed over by the RNG was a pretty good battle. So we actually get a battle against a Garchomp, Salamence, probably Mega Salamence, Gengar, Talonflame. I'm liking the looks of that Pelipper though, that's just an odd, an odd Pokemon to just kind of be there. And then a Swampert with no hold item, so what's his deal? Acrobatic Swampert, new meta. So, looking at this team, looking at the team, I'm kind of worried at that, that Mega Salamence is a problem. That is a problem. If I can get up a Dragon Dance with Alteria, I do just win this whole battle. There's nothing he can do to stop a Dragon Dance Alteria. Unless that Gengar is Focus Sash and he gets it in. And he can sludge bomb me, which is a problem. So I might want to bring a, po uh, a steel type as well, and I have two of those to bring. And I kind of want to bring more while. Um, she doesn't have intimidate, but I kind of want to bring her. Though I'm not sure. I think I'll lead with Magnazone. That seems like a very safe lead. Alteria is a good Pokemon to have next. To that I can bring Alteria in on an earthquake if I have to. And that the combination of these two Pokemon should be able to deal with Gengar, so I think I'll bring Furfro in the last slot. Because other than the Gengar and the Pelipper, this team is pretty much all physical, which means Furfro just kind of beats that because she is an adorable wall. You don't break adorable walls. If you break adorable walls, you're a very naughty person, and please leave my channel. You don't you don't break cute walls. We leave with Magnazone. Railgun, if you get the reference, awesome. He leads with Talonflame, and I am predicting him to either Flare Blitz or U-Turn. If he U-Turns, he's probably going to go into the Garchomp. This is a problem. This is a problem. Hmm, what do I do? See, if I stay in, I can kill this thing with a Thunderbolt, but if he switches into Garchomp, then switching into Fua would be my best play. Especially for U-turns, that breaks my sturdy. Fua can take Flare Blitz and Brave Bird from an unboosted Talon Flame. I'm gonna make the switch. I'm making the switch. I really don't think he's gonna stay in because sturdy is a thing. Oh, oh. And he can get straight with the Flare Blitz. Okay, so he did stay in. That's fine. That won't even do half. See. Nice and walled. Now the Talon Flame is probably going to switch out here. I'm going to use this opportunity to Cotton Guard in case he didn't, did not bring a special Pokemon. It's happened in quite a few battles where people just don't bring a special attacker, not realizing how wally Furfro is. 
So I'm going to get a free Cotton Guard as he switches out into Gengar. Into Gengar. Well, uh, he is basically forced to go for Sludge Bomb. Which is absolutely fine with me. I can just go into Magnezone. He can't go for Shadow Ball unless he predicts the switch. Which would be a very good switch to predict. I do. I used to run Sucker Punch on Fua, but I don't run it anymore. And he goes for the Toxic instead. Um, now, I'm actually going to go for the Flash Cannon, not the Volt Switch, because if he's got the Garchomp, no, because if he's got the Garchomp, I'll just bring in Fua and wall it. I'm Volt Switching here. Here's withdrawing. That is a Garchomp. Yeah, it's Garchomp. That's fine though, that's fine. Because here comes an Earthquake and I'm actually going to go into Altaria. Nice, beautiful, shiny, and here's the Earthquake! Now, quite a few smart people do go for the Earthquake again, predicting me to go from the, no, the Dragon Dance, or... Well, they predict, to predict me to go for the Mega Evolution. Now, I am an adamant Altaria. So he stays in, so he might just be going for the um, Earthquake again, which doesn't kill unless he's banded. And even then, I don't think it kills. Um, goes for the Stone Edge. Which is not even going to do half, and I do get a free Dragon Dance because of that. Um, so he's now in a pretty bad position. Because um, Fua beats Talonflame, even damaged as she is. And I can get a free return off. And that's a dead guard jump. Unless he's Focus Sash, that is dead. And he's not Focus Sash. And he's rough skin though, so he's got that. And he's Rocky Helmet, so he's got both of these, but down he goes. Now, the Gengar was Toxic Gengar, so I'm tempted to sub first. <coughs> yeah, she brings in Titan of Flame. So, yeah. Now, I don't see a need for keeping Alteria around. Alteria does not beat the Gengar one on one. So I'm actually going to let Alteria go down here, and if he doesn't go for Brave Bird, then that's a mistake on his part. Uh, yep, this is going to kill. Nothing I can do about that. But we just, we've got, we've got rid of the guard charm, so I'm kind of happy. I'm, I'm okay with that. Now then, I'm gonna bring in the fur throw. Which will force the switch into Gengar. So I'm basically making a predict here. I'm doubling. And that double puts him in a horrible position. He could predict me. He, he, he could predict me. Don't predict me. Come on, make me look good. Yes! He makes the double! He makes the double! And I think because I saw the Toxic on this Gengar, this might actually be, be a Black Sludge Gengar. Oh, that's beautiful. Now I can just safely go for the Vault Switch. Actually, Thudder might have been a better choice. Oh well, we've made the, we've, we've made the commitment. Here we go. If it doesn't kill, we lose. If it does kill, we're fine. It is choice specs. I am a modest Magnazone. Destiny Bond! That's interesting. So this kills, great. Our uh, Sturdy is intact, and it does kill. We win! Um, Talonflame does not beat Fua one on one, even if it's a Swords Dance set. So yeah, that's a win. Unless he gets a crit, so we can still lose this. I've cursed it. I've cu I've ruined everything. I've I've cursed every. It's, it's we've lost. I've cursed it. It's that simple. Um, he's gonna Brave Bird. Uh, that and he did about seventy. So I might just return. Might, that might just kill. Hmm. Hmm. I'm cotton guarding. He goes to the Brave Bird. That will do the same amount of damage as Flare Blitz did. So about 60 to 70 HP. Yeah, he's not going to kill. He's not going to kill the second one of those. 
A, a return would have killed, though. A return would have killed. So maybe I won't rest. Maybe I will just attack now. Because I know he can't kill me or the Brave Bird unless he gets a crit. So I'm just going to go for the return. And I think that's a win, guys. Yep, definitely a win. <laughs> <coughs> Goodbye, Talonflame. You tried, and you failed. Eleven wins! Seven losses! I didn't mention that when we began this episode, did I? We're at uh, eleven wins. Well, we were at ten wins. But now we're at eleven wins! Because Fua! Ho ho! Oh, goodness, I do love Fua. No need to save that battle, because... Obviously, we have recorded it live! And yes, we would indeed like to continue battling. Why not? Communicating, please. Wait! Challenge! That was a good win. I, I, I am happy with that win. I was running my um, Magnazone with max HP, max special attack. I actually changed it to max speed, max special attack, because... With Sturdy, I'm not. I'm living one hit anyway, and I was quite often put in a position where if I outsped, I would have won. But because I had no speed investment, I did not outspeed. <coughs> we see, Greninja, Ega Slash, not Ega Slash, Mega Salamence, Blaziken, probably Focus Sashed, and uh, Ferrothorn. And I do carry the Hidden Power Fire on Railgun just for those Ferrothorns. I can't trap them in. But I can one-shot them if they get ballsy. Hmm. Just looking at this team, trying to figure out who would be the best Pokemon to bring. So soon it doesn't get much work done here, unfortunately, unless I can nail one of the dragons on a switch. Fua, unfortunately, doesn't do much hit either, because the only physical Pokemon are the Blaziken and possibly the Aegis Slash. And maybe the Salamence. But, um, I don't think it's a good idea to bring Fua for the Salamence. Cotton seems like a good Arteria. Cotton, whatever. I'm, I think I'm going to lead with a Magnazone. I'm guaranteed to live one hit and can get off some massive damage against anything. Um, dear, dear me. Does, do I carry, um, Ice Beam on Laura? I don't. Okay. So I can't bring Laura. Well, I could bring Laura, but that wouldn't be very good. I'm going to bring more while. Am I? Yeah, I guess. And I'm going to bring Altaria. That just seems like it will make sense and do some work. So, second battle of the day. Guys, remember, if there's any Pokemon you would like to see me bring to Red Battle Spot, leave your suggestions in the comment section below. And if I see anything I like, I will be sure to go ahead and try and breed it. Leads with the Blaziken. I am okay with this lead. I am a-okay with this lead. As I'm actually just going to go for the Thunderbolt here, I think. No, I think Volt Switch will still kill. If it doesn't, it'll take it down to its Sash. Oh, it's Mega Blaziken, not Mega Mints. Well then. Um, I think Volt Switch specs just kills. Um, he is going to go for the Flare Blitz. I'm guaranteed to live... And I will be able to switch out because I'm going for the um, Volt Switch. No burn either. And he takes quite a bit of recoil damage. So that's pretty handy. And that is a dead Blaziken. Beautiful. Now, Magnazone at the moment is just going to be switch fodder. Unless he has the Ferrothorn. In which case, I can get off a Specs Hidden Power Fire. I am just going to go into... Arteria or Morwile? Arteria or Morwile? Morwile, I think, is the safest. I don't want to bring in Arteria yet. You also might think I'm Mega Morwile and switch in something to deal with Mega Morwile and then find out I'm not Mega and be like, No! Why? What is this? Because I am Sheer Force Life Orb Morwile. Don't underestimate Life Orb Sheer Force Morwile. It's Aegis Slash! It's Aegis Slash. Very glad I did not bring in my thingy. So I am just going to go for a Fire Blast. He might have the weakness policy, which is the only dangerous thing to me. 
And if he doesn't have weakness policy, then, you know, he could go for a King's Shield on the first turn to scout what, scout what I'm going to do. But if he thinks I'm a Mega Morwell, he might think I'm going to go for the Swords Dance Mega Evolution as he actually opts a Stance Change! Oh no, if I live. This is an Aegis Slash. Oh, I Bob Shed Force Morwell! Oh my god. <laughs> Focus? No, that was weakness policy. <coughs> what? What just happened? It lived on one. It grew and it goes with the Shadow Sneak to finish me off. Oh no. Morwell, you were so close. It grew a focus sash. <coughs> it grew a focus sash. Oh. Oh, I'm salty. I'm both salty and amazed at the same time. Mega Evolution. Um, it's probably just going to go for a Shadow Sneak, predicting me to be a special set. And wanting to get some damage on me. Because he knows there's no point in King Shielding because he would get outsped and die the next turn. Even if he was in shield form, he would, um, you know, still die regardless. So he's probably going to go for a Shadow Sneak, and I'm going to use that to go for a return. Yep, there's the Shadow Sneak, which doesn't even do half if my calcs were correct. Yep! Oh, my Forb Shift was more while. Well. So that was, that had to have been a roll. That had to have been a roll. <coughs> Stupid coughing. And he's got the Greninja! Oh dear, I've lost. I think I've lost. I think I've lost. Greninja just beats me from here. Well, I'm gonna go for the uh, return either way. Yeah, that's a dead. I'll tell you. So we've lost this one. If I had gone for the Dragon Dance against the Aegis Slash, I would have been in a much better position. Goodness, if Morwal had got the kill, we would have been fine. We would have won, and everyone would have been happy, because I'm pretty sure Altaria can live one Ice Beam from Greninja at max health. So we do take we do take away a loss here, but... Oh, that Mega Morwal... Not even Mega Morwal, that Morwal was just... Power! Denied the kill at the end. He's taken a while to figure out what to go for. He goes for the Shadow Sneak. Maybe thinking that I am Scarf, but I'm not. I'm Specs. So he had that win anyway. <coughs> so, 11 wins, 8 losses. I am running a Brave. I'm not sure if I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but my Morwell is Brave, not Adamant. That, and she is 6 IV. Um... I hatched quite a few 6 IV Morwiles while breeding for a Morwile, but none of them were sheer force. Um, they were either Hypercutter or um, Intimidate. Is it, was it? I think so, yes. Hypercutter or Intimidate. So, to finally have a sheer force 6 IV Morwile is awesome because now I can use Fire Blast. Make good use of the sheer force Life Orb combo. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm going to calc it right now, guys. I'm, I'm going to fire up the calc. More while. Um, max attack. Brave. Challenge. Sorry, I didn't hit challenge, did I? I also might 100 battles now. Nice. 50-50. My, that's my win ratio. 50-50. With sheer force... Life Orb, Fire Blast, against an Aegis Slash in Blade form. That is weird, it's saying it only does 65%. Uh, That's not right. And that is an Aegis Slash in Blade form. Oh, it's because this Aegis Slash is sped death for no reason. Yeah, that was a roll. I think that was a roll, guys. Anyway, sorry, I'm distracted. We're facing a Blaziken. Oh my god, I love this team. Blaziken, Relicanth, Golbat. Um, not Golbat. 
Rotom, and I'm assuming that to be Mega Pinsir. That's power, but also a lot of physical. I know the Rotom and the, and the um, possibly the Golbat to be um, special. Actually, probably not Golbat. It probably has uh, Super Fang, though. So, I think Laura the Ludicolo might get in today. Um, Cotton might get in as well, maybe. I don't quite know yet. Fua and Laura seem like very good options to bring. You know what, we're going to bring Natalia, Laura and Fua. That seems like a good, a good couple of Pokemon to bring. I hope. <laughs> <coughs> I do apologize about all the coughing and the sniveling. I am still ill, but he leaves with the Blaziken, as I kind of thought he would. Now, Blaziken has a base speed of 80, and, and okay, yeah, that will outspeed after Choice Scarf. No, that will outspeed, there. What was I saying? That will outspeed after plus, plus one. So... Thing is, what can Blazer can do to me? It can high jump kick, it can flare blitz. I'm gonna go for the home claws, predicting the obvious protect. It actually mega evolves, so it's mega Blazer can. Still predicting a protect, however. He could brave bird me, that's a thing. Yet there's a protect. So, all we have to do is try and live a hit from a Mega Blaziken. And if we can do that, we're good. We're golden. Going for the Sky Attack. As he tries to go for the Double Protect? What? Oh, and I can't miss this because I just home closed. What? <coughs> I am confused! Was that a misclick? Why did he try the double protect? That's just cost him the match. I can't miss high jump kick. I've got acrobatics. Why? I am so confused. I'm gonna go for the acrobatics instead of the home claws here. I'm not sure how much it will do to a physically defensive goal, but that's a two-hit KO. As he goes for the Toxic. I am so confused. I am really confused. That that should not have happened. He should have Brave Birded or Flare Blitzed. Uh, he he's not even carrying Protect on the Golbat either. So he's got a Toxic on me, but that's it. Natalia on a Rampage. <coughs> Can't stop the pint-sized luchador. Anyone remember that old TV show on, on Cartoon Network? The, uh, the one with the luchadors? Um, Mucha Lucha, that was it. Mucha Lucha! Oh, good times. And I just go for a high jump kick here now. And he doesn't even have protect on the Rotom. So a plus one, the high jump kick is not going to kill. He goes for the Hydro Pump. And that does take me out. Why didn't he go for a Thunderbolt? That would have also killed. I'm flying type. So, at this point, I can just do anything. I, I'm going to Ludicolo. <coughs> Ludicolo, Ludicolo. Everyone start dancing to the Mirror Beam music. And I'm just going to go for a Scald. That will kill me this range. As he goes for his own Hydro Pump. Which won't do anything because I'm specially defensive. And also part grass. And part water! Bye Rotom! I just don't understand. He threw that battle away by trying to go for a double protect. That had to have been a misclick. We take away a win though, and I'm not going to complain. So guys, we came in at 10-7 and we leave 12-8. That's a pretty decent score. So if you enjoy the video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Maybe let me know in the comment section below why you like the video. If you dislike the video, let me know why and let me know how I can improve. And if you want to see any Pokemon in the Raider Battle Spot series, let me know what you want to see and I will try and breed it if I don't already have one. So, until Wednesday's episode, 
where I will still be pretty ill and coughing and sneezing and sniveling all the way through the episode. Until then, adieu. I don't know how to do these ends. I don't, I don't know how to end a video.